Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Yesterday's Machinery. I am Richard, and today we're going to talk about magnetos. You can change your coil, your points, and your condenser, and you still ain't creating a very good spark when you turn the engine slowly around, and it can be really hard to start. You have to set your gap on the spark plug to almost zero, then you might get your engine going. But that's quite frustrating. So we're going to talk about this today. A magnetizer that I have built, and I have used this quite a lot, and it works absolutely fantastic. If the magnets are fresh, and I magnetize the magneto, I can turn the engine very slowly around with a standard gap on the spark plugs and create a very good spark and the engine just flies away first or second try. That's very good. So we're going to talk about this today. And please subscribe. That helps me out a lot, if you haven't already. Because I hope that videos like this and videos coming up in the future will help you out as well, so we help each other. And uh, yeah, let's go with this. We're going to try this on an engine that I have that I know is very hard to start. So I think that needs a real good magnetism in the magneto and that will be all right again. So yeah, let's start with this. And then I have this opened, and that means that I have to hold this button in to the lathe to run. When I let it go, the lathe stops, so I think it's quite safe. I'm gonna use the lathe to wrap the cable around, so let's go ahead and try. So here I have two and a half layers of cable, but I want more, so I did solder a new cable onto here. So I'm just gonna start spinning again, because I want as much cable as possible. Perfect. Okay, so now I am finished. And I'm gonna just tape a last layer of cable here. Then it will be done. And I will make one just the same for the other side. I think this will work just fine. So that is a quite powerful electromagnet. So here is all the parts for the magneto charger. Two coils, a base plate, drilled holes, gonna bolt the coils to this one. Gonna make a wooden base for this to stand on later. And I decided to use these instead. Thicker <coughs> and a little bit wider than the old ones. But those can be good as well because old magnets look different. So they are easily swapped out if you need to. So uh, yeah, let's assemble the thing. For now,
nice and tight. So there we go. There really isn't more to it than this. <coughs> Those cables should be attached in the right way now, so we have the circuit in the right way. So we're gonna check that because I don't really know which one is right, but doesn't matter. Try to plug it in. If it is right, it is. If it's wrong, just swap it out. So this is really the whole thing. I'm gonna tie these ones up now. Upside down. There we go. Oh, it's a heavy thing. Yeah, that would be great. Nice and strong. Seems to be quite in line as well. That is important that the surface of the magnet and these two plates meet up very well. Uh, this is going to be perfect. Nice piece of wood. Magnet. And this one. I just cut off for this to fit like this. Two old screws. Both down. That is nice and solid. So let's hook it up. Okay, so we are finished. This is the end product. Um, I have already tapped this switch a couple of times. And as you can see, we have power. So um, 12 volts or uh, 9 really, because this battery was in my car years ago. And I measured it now. It was 9 volts only, and it was bad already back then. So, yeah, but 9 volts is enough, probably. So it seems to work. Let's test it out. So I'm going to change those cables later on, but it was laying around here on the bench, so that's why. So, uh, steel plier, not magnetic at all. And if I lower this down, we should have... Uh, yep, it works. If I push this down, we get the magnetic field. That is strong, really strong. And I think my plier is a bit magnetic too. So here is the engine that we're going to try to get going today. This is actually one of the first engines that I bought to my collection a very long time ago. This is a two-cylinder four-stroke Sol engine made in Sweden in 1947. So it is a late model. They made very many of these. It is a eight horsepower engine. And I have had this running a couple of times and it runs well, but the spark ain't good. You have to crank the hell out of it. Then it just starts from nowhere. Or it doesn't. So we're going to check the spark. We're going to remove the spark plugs and uh, check the spark now. Then we're going to remove the magnet and get it remagnetized and uh, see if that improves the, the spark and see if she will run. Interesting design. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
this one we have a little spark on this one we have sometimes a very very small spark that can be the spark plugs as well they are very old but anyway we're gonna take the magnet out of the engine and uh, remagnetize it and see how it looks after I'm just going to take a quick look at the points. I have cleaned those points before and they look very, very clean. So I don't think there is a problem. Turns around freely. Mission setting. So that won't be a problem. So you don't have to tear anything down. But this little bolt here. So we undo this. And we also want to mark the magneto. So I will make a little arrow here. I call this the front of the magnet. So that arrow is pointing at the front. You want to install the magnet in the same way that you did take it out. That's good. And then you just push the magnet up like that. And there we go. All connected. 12 volt battery. And we seem to have power as well. So you have to have the south and north pole to meet up in the correct way with the magnetizer. Easiest way to do this is just to hang the magneto in a piece of wire or something like that. Hold it like this and put the magnetizer on. If you have it the wrong way, it's gonna turn automatically to the right way. You see that? If I hold it like, like this, it has to choose its own way. And it wants to go like that. If I hold it like this, it still wants to go that way. So there we go. That's the correct way. Put it like that. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press this for a couple of seconds. And while I do this, the magnetic current will go up here through the magnet and down here. And you have a complete magnetic field and that's charge this magnet and while i'm pressing this i'm gonna tap this with a piece of brass i just realized that i didn't have a small nice brass hammer so i'm gonna buy one but i have a piece of piping here that's gonna work all right i think so press this Wait a couple of seconds. Same thing again. Wait a couple of seconds. I usually do this like three or four times, then check if the magnet feels stronger. If it feels stronger, it probably is stronger as well. It is stronger. I think this weighs about 10 kilos or something. <coughs> well, this is way stronger now than before. And the best thing is to not put this magnet down on anything or Test the magnet strength the last time you magnetize it. Just pick it up and put it onto the magneto or place it on wood or something not magnetic. That's the best thing for this to keep its magnetism. So, back here again, we have the arrow, we have the new charge magneto. 
and I have cleaned those surfaces up so that will meet just fine. Like that. Yep, that is way better, way better than before. If this engine starts up at first try now, I'm gonna be very, very happy. So I had some new old stock Bosch spark plugs laying around. Uh, so I thought I might just as well put those in. Point gap is 0 0.7. I think that will be all right. And this engine has primers here that go straight into the cylinder. I'm gonna prime it just a little bit. Like that. So I have primed the engine. So this will be the first start, I hope, since we have the magnet remagnetized. So I put the choke on, fuel is on, see where we have the compression, there, oh we gave it a try. Yep. Please stop. Okay, so remagnetizing your magneto really does make a difference. This engine has never been this easy started ever, I promise. Uh, I have cranked this probably more revolutions than the engine has been running for itself. And uh, blisters in my hands and so on. So that's no fun. So if you have a magnet that creates a weak spark and your engine is very hard to start, send the magneto away. That will save you a lot of problems. And to get it remagnetized, that doesn't cost you more like $10 or so. It is a very fast job. So please do, and don't forget to subscribe. This will be it for today. Have a great day. See you next time. I'm gonna start this once again. So there you go. See you next time.